so in today's video we are going to make this atmospheric desert scene and we are going to create this using the co game engine so as you guys might know i am working on my game and um, i made a similar atmospheric desert environment for my game i'm going to teach you the basics on how i made that so if you guys don't know what core is i'll give you a quick description so core is basically a easy to use game creation tool so i'm going to leave a link down in the description you can download core from there and you can create a empty project from here you can name your project whatever you like and you can press the create button to create the project now this is an empty project and core gives you a lot of different objects in the scene by default so we'll need to delete some of these objects Let's go to terrain generation and let's generate our terrain. So Co has a lot of different terrain presets that you can choose from. So for this video we are going to make a desert environment so I'm going to choose desert monument. We have the voxel size reduce this to 0.5. You can reduce the height scale to 0.6 and generate your terrain. So this terrain is looking pretty good and this is all generated totally procedurally. So if you don't like this terrain you can delete this and generate it again with different settings. But this looks pretty good. Now as you can see the terrain has a default ground material so let's quickly add a terrain material to this. So go under the paint tab and create a new material from there. You can see that core has given you a default landscape material. So we don't want that we are going to create a desert so you can edit materials from here click on the material slot one search for sand and you can see we have a lot of sand materials right here after that let's change the side material so select that and you can change it to the cliff material so this is looking pretty good but now as you can see the lighting is not matching properly so it's looking like flat and we don't have that atmosphere so for this i'm going to add a lighting preset from the community content so go to the community content search for atmosphere and here you have the sniper alley atmosphere imported in your scene And from here just add this object in your scene. And you will have to delete the default sky. So just delete that. Just like that we are getting that atmosphere. We also have a lot of post processing effects going on. So let's take a look in this lighting preset. So you can go to the atmosphere right here. So we have the sky dome right here so the sky dome is basically a sky box. We have the sunlight so that's the direction light in your scene. We have the environmental height fog and that will give you a sense of atmosphere. Next we have some ambient occlusion. Some bloom. We also have a lens flare object right here and some simple exposure. So this is not that complex it's just a group of some post processing effects and some lighting objects. So now let's test this scene in game. So for that we are going to need a player object. So in the co content you can just search for first person controller and co already has this first person controller template. So just add that in your scene. And you can just play the game. So as you can see we have a very cool first person controller and we have a cool atmospheric scene. So I was getting a lot of comments on my channel. or uh, regarding the atmospheric lighting of my game so that's why i made this video so this is meant to be a basic uh, starting video so this was the basics and i hope you expand on this so if you like this video please leave a like down below and that's it i'm going to see you in the next video